Brad Nessler joined in the booth by Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. The Mercury will stay low today in this game between the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets and the Duke Blue Devils. It's been one heck of a season here in the ACC, and these two teams are ready to go to war. And here come the Blue Devils. The Yellow Jackets are a confident bunch of kids, and rightfully so. Kirk, this team is just too powerful. Georgia Tech has one of the premier defensive ends in the game today. He commands double teams in pass protection, and his teammates love being single block. That's why I think they'll win this one easily. Nice pick, Kirk. Georgia Tech, sweetheart. This one's almost underway, so we're about to find out real quick just how smart of a pick that was, Coach. and aggressive and they have such a fast defense they don't have to do anything complicated they just let their players play and play with fun touchdown duke they made a great connection there for the touchdown didn't they phil what a quarterback threw a strike to the wide receiver he caught it and took it all away well, what a dangerous combination you can't say enough about how good that throw was the quarterback put that one right on the mark is waiting for the snap. And that defense is getting a little excited down there. Here's the option. Now he pitches it. And he's tackled in the open field. So the run... And they make the stop at the 17. The option left. The big guy with room to run. And he's tackled at the three-yard line. They pick up another first, guys. They've got a decent drive going here. Yep, the offense is doing exactly what they have to do. Let's see if they can punch this one in. Allen takes a handoff, and they'll get him in the backfield. Number 21. He's still down, and it looks like he's in a lot of pain. Hopefully it's not as bad as it looks. This guy is a huge asset to this team, and if he can't come back, and they will... It's up, and the field goal is good. Back to pass. He steps up, looking, sheds that one. Rolling out to the left side. No one open, so he's going to run. And down he goes at the 39-yard line. Looks like someone was called for holding. Holding. Oh. Oh. It's about time they called him for holding. He's been holding on to Jersey. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Jones fields it at the 22. Across midfield, at the 40, at the 30, to the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. How about that play? Woo, what an incredible display of athleticism and balance. The ability to turn something out of nothing. Lewis drops back to pass. He'll dump this one off. The defender had it and then dropped it. We knew this drive was in trouble if they couldn't get it. After a quarter of play, our score is Georgia Tech 10, Duke 7. Here's the option. And he has room to rumble. He's tackled at the 34. And that's a first down. He's looking to pass. Steps up in the pocket. He's looking. Down the middle. Got it. He's all the way down to the 31. Butler probably just has a stinger here. We'll keep you updated on his status. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened down there on the field. I hope this kid can get back in the game, though. Looks to pass. He rolls left. He's got the fullback. Can't wrap him up. And he's tackled at the 22-yard line. They got to the quarterback a little late there. First of the ground. 
The officials march off 15 yards against the defense. And then the quarterback releases. They'll run the option. Touchdown. I like it. Give the ball to the big fella, and the big hoss makes his way into the end zone. When this guy starts wobbling, you better get out of his way, or he's going to leave cleat marks on your chest. Looking to throw. Dumps it. This one is incomplete. Just a bit off the target there, Kirk. Yeah, he won. Here we go. Steps up. Number 13. Let's it fly. Into coverage, and the defense has it. Can't wrap him up, and he's taken down at the 47. And the defensive end comes away with the INT. Yeah, he stuck his hands right out there and came up with a catch. That's a huge play for this defense. They're going to flag the celebration there. Drops back to pass. Number nine lets it go. Got it. And that tackle's going to save him six. Penalty marker down in the backfield. Might be a holding call. First look around. Welcome to pass. He did get the late there. The officials have got him. It resulted in a touchdown. He gets another carry. Sheds one tackler. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. That's his second touchdown on the ground, guys. I like this a lot. Give it to the fullback and let him do the dirty work. Nice play. adjustments definitely needed in this one. Our score, Georgia Tech 24, Duke 7. They go with the option. Lateral back. The big guy with room to run. And down he goes at midfield. And the fullback comes up with a nice run. This is just strength on strength right here. They give it to the fullback and he powers his way for some good... He's hit and got away. Tackle made at the 40-yard line. And they'll still be a little short of the first down line. Well... They get some positive yards, but this defensive line really busts. Here's the option. And he's taken down at the 34. How about that call on fourth down? That's a little bit risky. I personally wouldn't have gone with the option there, but they were able to pick up good. Here's the option. Tackle at the 12. Nice running on the option there. That was a touchdown. I don't expect this one to be any different. And it pays off. Touchdown. He got the handoff and knew exactly what to do with it. They like the fact that they have a halfback who can pick his way so well through defense. Play fake. Number 13. Slings it. Incomplete pass. Oh, man. Dropped passes just aren't acceptable. I don't care if you're getting hit or not. Hey, he'll shake it off. No big deal. Watch. They'll go to him again, and he'll come up with the catch. You know, he probably will, but there's still no excuse for the one who just... Hand off to the right. Big opening at the 40. Across midfield. And they finally knock him out at the 36. What a huge run by the tailback. It's pretty obvious that this offensive line controlled the line of scrimmage that time, but did you see how this halfback eluded the defense? That, my friends, was a masterful display of skills right there. They bring out their dime package. Drops back to pass. He looks. Rifles it right. Complete. What a catch. That's how you convert third down, sweetheart. That was a good-looking play, wasn't it, Coach? Oh, yeah, this offensive coordinator must have seen something in the defense he really liked. They'll run the option. He's in. Another touchdown. What do you have for us, Lee? That was his third rushing score for the game. If I was a coach, I'd give this kid the ball every time. with three wide receivers. Rolling out to the right side. Looks. He's looking for his man. Got his man on the run. 
just a simple case of finding the hole in the zone. The quarterback did a good job of recognizing the coverage and then found his man. Yep. Get the receiver. The ace set here. Drops back on first down. Looks. Fires across the middle. And they make the stop at the 29. King looks to have been shaken up a bit on that play. Heading to the fourth quarter. This one is well in hand. With the score, Georgia Tech 38. Duke drops back to pass. Broke away from one. Looking. Makes a move. They'll bring him down at the 25 yard. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. He lets it go. That's incomplete. Flags are down, and this one might be on the offense. The penalty is declined. First down. Looks like they've taken out their quarterback and they're giving this young man some mop-up duty. He's hit and got away. Tackle at the 36-yard line. Number 91 recovers a loose ball. Well, it looks like they have another chance now with that fumble recovery. I don't know how much of a chance that is. They're getting blown out. the run down the sideline to the 20 to the 10 he's in another touchdown the halfback got the call and was able to carry it to pater yeah looking smooth out there he's one of those guys they can count on for big plays Goes with the ace set here. Fakes to the back. He's looking. Throws it to the middle. It's his tight end. A little laundry on the field, and we'll find out whose it is. Ten yard penalty. Still These are the calls that drive a coach crazy. Senseless penalties can sometimes be the difference between winning and losing. Here's the give. Excellent open field tackle. And they move the chains once again. And that's what they need. Move the chains and keep the other team from getting their hands on the football. They go with the option. Now he pitches it. He's got an opening. The 10. He's in. Another touchdown. Well, at this point, these guys are just out there padding stats and running up the score. Sometimes you play in a game and you can't do anything wrong. You find yourself in a rhythm or a zone. This whole team seems like they've been in a rhythm since we kicked this game off. He kicks off. Jones fields it at the seven, loses the football, and they fall on the loose ball. And that is a big, big turnover. It looks like to me that someone... He gets it up, and it is good. He looked pretty good kicking the ball there. And that's pretty much going to do it. What are your final thoughts on the game, Coach? I can't say enough about this performance. Georgia Tech looked like a team on a mission to destroy anything and everything that got in their way. Brad, this is a really good-looking football team. Folks, thanks for tuning in to our game. Our final score, Georgia Tech 55, Duke 7. Until next time, with Kirk Herbstreet and the coach Lee Corso, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.